I'm tolerant. I'm the Mahatma freaking Gandhi of tolerance. I don't mind what you do, what you believe, how you dress, or who you bang. I just don't care. I don't mind who you worship. I don't mind where you do it. I don't care if you think Christ is the Messiah. I don't care if you think Christ is the Antichrist. I don't care if you think you're the Messiah. I don't mind if you put on an orange robe, shave your head, and join a friggin' suicide cult. Care factor, zero. It doesn't worry me. Do whatever you want to do. Just don't knock on my door before midday on Saturday. Don't do it. I'm looking at you, Mormons. Listen, Mormons, I fear Dinkum has put up with your crap long enough. And seeing you Mormons seem to be so open to the concept of door-to-door belief pushing, well, it just got me to thinking. I've come to Salt Lake City, Utah, the world capital of Mormonism, the spiritual home of LDS, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've got my pamphlets. I've got my copy of Origins of Species. I've got my atheist badge. Let's do some good. As religious door knockers always travel in twos, I thought I'd drag along my director, Craig Melville. Hello. Um, could I take a moment of your time? I'm John and this is Craig and we'd like to take a moment of your time to talk to you about atheism. Would you be interested in that? Um, actually, no, probably not. To you know talk, to, talk to you really about atheism and the way it no, can change your life? No, thanks, so. <laughs> Basically, what us atheists believe that the Bible isn't really true and that it's all just stories. I'm a bishop. Oh, really? In the LDS Church. The LDS Church. Well, have you ever considered atheism? We believe that the Bible is just made up and it didn't really happen. Okay, then be We follow the teachings of a man named Charles Darwin, who's an evolutionary biologist, and he brought an amazing message to the world. For example, did you know your relatives were monkeys? Did you know that when you die, your body just decomposes into the earth and nothing happens? There's no soul, there's no heaven, God is meaningless false and irrational. There's a lot of literature that backs up atheism. Would I be able to offer you a reading from 1980's concept band, XTC? Dear God, you're always letting us humans down. The wars you bring, the babes you drown, and it's the same the whole world round. Dear God, I don't believe in you. But just imagine if you're wasting your entire life going to church and it all adds up to nothing. Oh. You actually believe that? Huh? I do believe that. This, oh, this cognitive dissonance causes anxiety within you. If there is a God, but the thing is, atheism you, can cure you of this anxiety not supposed to by providing allow scientific allow explanations. Oh, did we disturb you from your sleep? Oh, sorry. Were you doing something else? Sorry. Were you enjoying your own private time and it was really intrusive for someone to come bashing on your door and push their beliefs on you? Did you understand what I said? This is inappropriate. Take us off your list. 